Your mobile app screen will often objects for your mobile game. Oftentimes there will be characters. We're using the same character for simplicity. There's often another character or an object, such as a tree or a bullet or a stone, something happens. When the two objects meet, you can set an action to take place. We're using flutter and flame. The way the action takes place is you assign each of the characters to be a collidable. There is a mix-in for the sprite component called collidable. The mix-in can be assigned to any sprite component or to any position component. The sprite component is a position component. So if they do hit, they will disappear. Also, it's a set so that if it hits the edge of the screen, the sprite will also disappear. The two mix-ins that you need are hitbox and collidable. In this example, we're using a rectangular bounding box for simplicity. So when the character goes, if it hits anything within the rectangular area of the sprite, it will disappear. In the update loot of your character, there is a remove method. So if this wall is hit or if there's a collision, then you simply remove the character. This character here has the same method to delete, remove the character if uh, the collision takes place. This other character is also has the same collision. So both characters have the remove in the update statement. In addition to the remove, you're going to be need to become familiar with the on collision or is the collision hit to true. And in the update statement, then it removes it. If you want to get the sprites working and moving across the screen or animating the sprites, you should check out these videos. There's other specific components of Flame that we explain how to use. The audio, how to use the Flutter widgets overlay onto the Flame system. Also to get the screen size um, and the boundaries of the characters if you want to use that. So subscribe to the channel. We'll be having more updates soon and take you through the code in more detail.